welcome back to the channel guys expose and educate currently in Abingdon in Oxfordshire and we're gonna have a little look at Abingdon police station huge huge car park gotta say big old building That now took me to the wrong place because I believe that the old Abingdon police station has been knocked down. Loads of industrial units around and then they built this place. So usual signs about only police vehicles beyond this point although not civilian cars in there. So that's another one of those anomalies. So you've got public and visitor parking bays out here. There's 10, there's 12, there's 40, there's 16 cars out here. You're not telling me that these 16 bays are all being used by visitors to the police station. Anyway, let's have a little, little look at the building itself. As you can see, fairly modern. Big communications tower. And this one has got cameras, including a camera on the, on the gate. So we're gonna have a wander around this way. And then in a second, we're gonna pop in and ask to speak to somebody. about my favourite subject at the moment, which is the CAN card. So we're going to come back to the entrance, which is just here. Let's have a little look around this way first, because it's always nice to have a look around, get your bearings. So the windows downstairs are all blacked out or mirrored, so you can't see anything anyway. And then you've got a locked door, you've got some fencing, So we're just going to take a little walk around the side. We're not doing anything wrong here because we're outside of their property. So it is a busy old road this. There's a beef eater and a premier in op opposite. I was going to say if you wanted some, some good quality food but of course doesn't always come. So we've got kennels at the back here, yeah, I don't know if you can see. In there we've got a couple of kennels. Looks like there's some cell windows. Just have a little close up on the cell windows for you. So this is obviously a custody suite at the back here. So we'll just come back round the front. So I'll pick it up when I get round there. So as we get back around to the front, I'll just point out the fact we've got some huge double bollards. So you've got some coming in off the main road and some just here. But you can drive into that bit. So let's go in and have a little look. See if anybody is available to speak to. Okay, no worries, thank you. Oh yeah. 
Um, is there a, a police officer of any rank that I could possibly have a chat to about something? Is that right? I just wondered what that was. Yeah, what is that? Is that any concern of yours, young lady? Yes, it is. Why is that, then? Because you've just gone past my office and you've been filming up and down. Don't tell lies. I've not filmed into the building. Okay. So um, the fact I've walked around the perimeter is yeah. not illegal. Okay. So don't come in with an attitude, please. I'm, I'm, I'm here not, on... Oh, no, I'm not coming in with Well, you have. Attitude. No, I haven't. Because you haven't I, said no. good afternoon, sir. May I no, ask? No, I just said to you, can I ask you what that is? That's all I've asked. I didn't well, know what there's, it is. There's no, no, personally, I, like this young lady was, she was very polite when she said, hold on no, a minute, I'm just sir. asking you what it was. I, I didn't, I'm don't a stickler for manners, so I please didn't. excuse me because I'm, yeah, I'm no, busy. Yeah, no, that's absolutely fine. Can you just um, see if something I'll let, Yeah. I'll let you do that first if you need to let me know. Oh, that's okay. So, so uh, yeah, sorry, go on. Okay. Um, yeah, is it possible to speak to a police officer, any rank, because mm -hmm. I understand they might be busy, mm -hmm. uh, about CAN cards? About? CAN cards. C-A-N-C-A-R-D. One word. CAN cards. CAN cards. Can I ask what that is? Um, <laughs> I don't really want to say at the moment, because I want to find... What I'm doing, I'm on a mission to find out if the Thames Valley Police, in certain areas... Yeah are aware of it because it's been brought to my attention and other people's attention that because the police don't know what it is, they're abusing the fact that people are carrying them and people are being arrested, spending four or five hours in custody, yeah. which is resulting in a lawsuit against different constabularies, mm. which we, the taxpayers, end up paying for. Okay. Um, so, <laughs> so, sorry, I'm not being rude right now, so are you police staff? You are. Yeah. So you, you, I wouldn't expect you to know. I've never so. heard of no, that's fine. Yeah. <coughs> and I yeah. doubt if you would come across it in your daily duties. Probably not. Um, I mean, in nearly six years, I've never heard of the word. Yeah, so. exactly. Yeah. I mean, it is a, is a relatively new phenomenon. Uh, phenomenon. It's only been out, I think it's three or four years. Yeah. But it's, it's got worrying statistics attached to it because of um, the fact that people are getting arrested even when they show this card. Right. So, okay. so if there is somebody available, that would be great. Let me call upstairs. What's your name? Can I take your name? Scott. Scott. Yeah. Sorry, young man. No, 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 it's all right. You're all right. Like you, yeah. All oh, right, okay. All right. Do you want to grab a seat? I will. Thank you very much indeed. Cheers. So while I'm waiting, I'm just going to have a little look at the uh, the signage. So some very interesting bits of information. It's good to see Batman. It's always good to keep on top of what we have, especially vulnerable people and information. So this is being monitored by Mighty. They get everywhere, don't they? So what we got? We got a little sign up there. You can uh, read that at your leisure. Building was opened by the right of all Jack Straw. So it's two there, so it's 20 years old now. And I don't know if you could read that one, but there's... So this was an old site of the MG, apparently. So um, it's good to see that they've got the amnesty bin. And it is, it is secured properly, which is good. So we got safe at home, which is really important. Sorry. Thanks. Thames Valley alert. Receive five. Cr receive free crime alert. Uh, Hundred pound on the spot fine for wasting police time. Antisocial behaviour. Knock knock. Who's there? Hidden harm. Oh, metal thefts. Not seen that one before. Report. Fraud and cybercrime, and banned knives in the UK. So yeah, quite well, um, quite well maintained and quite well posted up. So just while we're waiting, I want to give you a little scan up of the of the architecture. So we've got offices and the likes. And obviously you've got a couple of doors in. One thing I have noticed, which I think is really good, you can see that there, there's a bell lower than the counter for anybody that may be 
in a wheelchair, which I think is great. We press me button. How are you doing? All right, thank you, Scott. My I, only, I only want five Hi, minutes of your time. Yeah, Have we got to do it out here, or do you want to go in a... Wherever you want. Oh, I'm, I'm, oh, I don't mind. I just thought if anybody else comes in and they're doing something yeah, private, it, it yeah. would save moving in a bit, if that's okay. Yeah, no problem at all. After you, young lady. Thank you very much. No worries. <clears throat> now, some of us were brought up properly. <laughs> do you want me to sit outside so I can't you escape? I am recording. Of course. Yeah, well, well mine's on as well. It, it's, oh, thank you for telling me. Yeah. Um, Likewise with mine. So it's not to try and catch you out or anything, it's just that. I've got a very bad memory, okay. and if you tell me something, and I haven't made notes, that, that'll help me. I don't even know what the picture's taken at the moment, so let's try and get both of you in. So before we start, <laughs> could you please identify yourself again? Yeah, so my name's Josh, PC Beach 2199, thank, from Avalon PC. Thank you very much. And PC 161 Daisy Taylor of Avalon PC Beach. Brilliant. Very professional. Thank you for that, because we don't get that everywhere we go, no. so okay. appreciate that. You're both very young, I've got to say. Or is it so just that I'm getting older? I'm actually older than I look. Okay. Likewise. Anyway, let's cut to the chase because you might get called out at any time. Um, CANCARD, C-A-N-C-A-R-D. Okay. I don't think I've heard of it. So you're looking very vacant. You're looking very vacant. This is exactly why I'm here. So the CANCARD is about people carry it that use cannabis that cannot afford oh, yeah. to pay for it privately. And currently, there's only four, or maybe five now, that get it on the NHS. Okay. So there's more and more people that you, you have to go through certain steps to qualify for one. You know, so you have to ask your doctor for certain paperwork to prove that you've got conditions that cannabis helps with. Yeah, um, but what we're finding at the moment is that some police officers that aren't aware of it, and it's no offence to no, you so guys no, if I, you I don't. Well, they're stopping yeah. people because you get the smell of the wacky backy or yeah. whatever you call it, you know. Um, they produce this card and some police officers aren't believing it because it's not well known. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what I'm out to do is try and get you guys to promote it up the ranks yeah. so that your inspectors or whoever gives the morning brief or afternoon brief actually tells you guys when you're out on the streets, because it's going to become more and more popular, if somebody produces a CAN card take the time to read what it says, ask them some questions without being OTT, because they've obviously got issues, and a lot of it will be mental health. And if you're not sure, radio through to comms and just get somebody with some rank to, to, to do stuff. Because what, what's happening is people are being arrested, spending four or five hours in uh, custody, because it takes time, doesn't yeah, it? You've got to yeah. book them in, all the rest of it. Wait for a duty solicitor, probably a nurse, all that stuff. Then they're being released, and then a lot of people are now starting, because it's the America thing, putting in a claim against the police. Mm -hmm. Which, of course, taxpayers don't want to see happening. Not for something that could be so easily solved if, if you guys were a little bit more aware of this phenomenon. Yeah, cool. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so that's what I'm here for today, um, to try and speak to people that walk the beat. Or, or drive the beat, probably, yeah. these days. Um, yeah, we, we try and get out as much as we can. We're on one of the neighbour teams. Oh, brilliant. So we actually do try and get out yeah. as much as possible. So you, you're the guys on the front line, so to speak. Yeah. So if, if you can take it on board, look into it yourselves. By so you've got any... I haven't got one with me, oh, okay. because they're only issued to people. And, and so I, if I was to like, Google it, would it show you exactly what it, it is? It should come up, um, or you can go to the website, which is cancard.co.uk. So you're from the company or are you... No, nope, nothing to do with it whatsoever. Yeah, I, I actually have a relative that has got one of these cards okay. um, and they were arrested and they spent six hours oh, okay. in custody, right. um, which stressed them out no end. So you yeah. can imagine the first thing they did when they got outside, light up a spliff. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, so... Don't I, tell me they got arrested again. No, they didn't <laughs> because the officer that that had arrested them the first time had come round the side, I'm not going to tell you the station, and it wasn't Thames Valley, uh, came round the side of the station and then had a really nice chat with them and apologised. Is this what we're on about? That's it, yep. Lovely. So okay. there's not a huge amount of information on there, but please, 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 somebody with some authority maybe, contact them, because if you've got a CAN card, you also get help with any legal representation which of course costs money. That's why people are now starting to say, right, well, I'm going to take a case out against the police. And like I said, you know, 
Money's tight for everybody. We don't yeah. want taxpayers having to pay for things that can be avoided. So, you know. Um, yeah, we'll pass on the message to our colleagues. Brilliant. Really appreciate that. Okay. Can I just ask you a couple of questions then on a personal note? Go on. So, how long have you been in? Three years. Three years? Yeah. Five. Five years. So, you're the senior bowling. Senior, yeah. Does <laughs> she pull rank? No. Because it does go down to dates, doesn't it, if two of you are on a job um, and somebody needs to take... I don't know whether that's sometimes more of a, an old-fashioned thing. Oh, right, OK. I, I, well, from my experience, anyway, it's more... Certainly when we work together, we kind of like bang our heads together, you know, say... Literally. What do we think? You know, here's my opinion, here's your opinion, and try yeah. to get the best outcome for everyone involved, really. What's the most... So, did you both come through university? I've done a degree. OK. But not a policing degree. No. So... I've got to ask the question then, why take a degree and then change tact? Um, <laughs> to be honest, it's, I, my experience of university, it was good life skills, I've learned okay. a lot of life skills, I've learned how to be more articulate, read and write, etc. Brilliant. Um, so yeah, it's so it's what we need as the public, in fairness. No, no degree. You just fancied the police force? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to share why? Well, I'm, I'm always interested, you see, because... Um, we well, don't have to say I, too no, much. No, no, no. I, jo I joined up when I was 18. <laughs> okay. So pretty much straight out of school. And you've been in? Wow, well, I've been. I did two years um, as like in the control room. Okay. Nine and nine calls, and then five years on the beat. So seven years in total, but five police. So. Work um, out her age, you see. Good detective work. How old am I then? I'm not telling you. <laughs> I, I'm, that would be rude, wouldn't it? <laughs> okay, that can work it out. <laughs> um, um, and I just wanted to help people. And that's genuinely what I do. There and that's are, really good to hear. There are a few bad eggs in the police force, unfortunately, and unfortunately for us, is the bad eggs are the ones that are promoted in the media, so members of the public think all police officers are bad, but we're not. And, and I've got to say, it's why I picked up one of these, mm. although I started with the phone, because when you witness family members or friends, or just people in general, that get abused by the police, yeah. and we can do nothing. You it's know, frustrating for us as... As good cops, yeah. yeah, because one of my subscribers said to mention this the worst enemy for you guys is a bad cop yeah. because somebody has a dealing with them you go around the corner and they turn on you and that's no good to anybody but to be so fair from my experience 99 percent of officers i've come across mm -hmm. are very good and they are in the job to help people make people's lives better if they can but i guess one or two bad incidents yeah. and yeah. Yeah. I've, I've got to say in my experience i started this in november and my experience has been about 99%, maybe 98%. Whereas a lot of other people that do this, you've heard the term auditors. Obviously different people, different strokes, different backgrounds have a different approach. Yeah. Um, and everyone's valid in what they do. I try not to be too antagonistic or too, um, trying to think of the right word, rude, unless I receive it. And then I'll stand my ground and I'll be firm and all the rest of it. Um, so I, I've had good experience. Really good experience. And this is what we're trying to promote. Well, I, I like to share that factor because without you guys, who's going to protect us? You know, because we can't have a firearm hanging on the, on the wall to use for self-defense like America. No. You know, we can't have certain knives, even though the kitchen drawer is probably full of them. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, so I just wanted to, because you see very personable people. Try? Yeah, I think <laughs> it's better possible to talk to people. Yeah. When if you can help them, you can help them. If they need to be arrested or whatever, then so be it. But when you have to do what you have to do yeah so in your three years mm -hmm. and your five years out on the beat is that right five years yeah so i've got a bad memory yeah. um do you think mental health issues have got worse uh we certainly the public probably don't see it we deal with a lot of mental health instances yeah. as well as crime as a, but people don't probably appreciate the amount of jobs we go to and you know as times i've been spent on bridges with people that try to jump off yeah. and it's not necessarily a police job but there's no other service doing that job and it's a very time consuming yeah. kind of thing and the public don't probably always appreciate the deal of that. Um, well this is this is a good chance, I mean I've not even got to 5,000 subscribers yet, I'm a little bit short but that's not bad since November but my, my subscribers love to hear what you guys do and your attitudes are perfect and I think everybody will appreciate you being open and honest. Um, and because you're probably busy, I'm not going to ask you any more questions. <laughs> so, uh, What's your channel, by the way? Uh, expose and educate. And I don't expose. normally give that to the police. I just want to have a look. To look at yeah, myself. yeah, by all yeah, means. Yeah. I mean, I... Make sure you get me at the right angle. I, <laughs> I'll, give you, I'll give you a brief idea of what I do. So I didn't go out to do... 
deliberately stitch the police up in any way, shape or form. I go out to film. I've done courts. I've done, I'm going to ask you a question on that actually in a second. Okay. It's just reminding me. Courts, prisons, police, um, commercial buildings, you name it, I do it. Because if I see something interesting, like coming over, DVSA pulled a lorry in. I stopped, had a good interaction, fantastic. Then I saw a sign for an army barracks, um, yeah. Dalton, yeah. Dalton Barracks. Yeah. What a long walk that was. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Thanked them for their service. They're doing a fantastic job. So hopefully my people like to see that. Yeah. But like I've said, I, well, I'll tell you an incident. In Bristol, going around some warehouses and some units, having some interaction, one person had a problem, obviously phoned the police and probably 999 because they turn up fairly quickly whereas you know as well as I do 101 nowadays you're 20 minutes before you even get answered as a rule firearms turn up in a BMW attitude of one of them was okay the attitude on the other one was just really trying to push my buttons and then as we got to the end what was good cop in fact it's entitled good cop bad cop okay. um, suddenly said well I don't like to be filmed now that's a little bit strange because I'm sat here in front of two cameras now and probably... Oh, to be fair, no one probably likes to be... If you're giving a choice, would you like to film me? I'd probably say preferably not, but... Is that because you've got personal issues? And I don't mean to be rude when I say that. No, but no, everybody no, says, I mean, oh, I don't like my hair or oh, no, I, no. I haven't shaven for a few days. You know? I like to get on with my life in private, I guess, but obviously I'm in a public domain. I'm not going to stop you. I appreciate... Right to do that, so. And of course, I often tell people there's no right to privacy in public because the, the general public aren't aware. No. You know, so part of my mission is actually to get people to understand that it's normally a phone, isn't it? People have, yeah, yeah. and if you're at the beach and you're taking pictures, you don't worry about photographing kids, old people, yeah. anything. And it's been proven that people doing this sort of stuff outside often help you guys because we capture either yeah. crime or something that's happened. Yeah. And I've known colleagues of mine who have turned around and said, he's in the bushes over there. Mm. So, you know, not everybody on this side of the camera is a bad person. And like you said, not everybody that side is a bad person. Um, I'm going to ask you because I know one, one of my uh, viewers will definitely ask this, but I'm going to ask the, the court question first. Whether or not we can answer it's a different Yeah, question. you can. Okay. So I don't know if you're aware, but today, for the first time, yeah. judge in the Old Bailey was filmed giving out a sentence. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I forget what it was. I think the guy killed his grandfather or something. Yeah. So, do you think that's a good idea? Well, I think it's only for the most serious offences, yeah. isn't it? It's yeah. not for every single set no. of offences. No. Whether or not it's a good idea, I don't know. It's kind of too early to tell. But we're getting a bit like America, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. And what yeah. about you? I mean, <laughs> the problem is, of course, some some details can't be disclosed. So of course. You might hear a verdict, but then you might be thinking, well, how have they got to that verdict? Yeah, so, yeah. I think it's yeah. only the verdict that they can record. It is, yeah. at the moment, yeah. yeah. But it's the thin end of the wedge, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And, of course, we all know that occasionally innocent people go to prison yeah. because you're in front of, tw is it 12 still, jurors? Yeah. So, yeah. And you're in their hands, and if they come back and say, yeah. well, I'm not sure, so I'll tell you what, lock him up anyway, or lock her up anyway, it's not always a good thing, is it? But, uh, but the reason I ask that is because I mentioned earlier I film courts. Yeah. Now, on my channel, there's been a few comments about you're not um, allowed to film within the precinct of the court. Now, the court I'm speaking of, I don't know if you've ever been to Reading Crown Court? Yeah. Yeah, so it's a beautiful building. It is very old. And I was just filming outside. I had no intentions of going inside, but a young man who was a member of the public who saw the security guards having a go at me started filming. So he's now become an auditor. Um, and they actually assaulted him on the court premises. Now, if you're going to allow, not you, if you but if they're going to allow cameras in court, does that mean that the law's got to be changed? I guess so. <laughs> Tough question. Yeah, yeah. I guess ultimately, people sometimes think the police are making the rules. Actually, we follow the rules. Exactly. We enforce the rules. Yeah. So, I guess. Maybe yeah. you have to ask someone else that makes rules. Yeah. The only reason I'm asking, I mean, I don't know if there's a court or anything in Abingdon because I'm not from no, this area. The nearest one is Oxford. Oxford. So yeah. if you were called to Oxford because somebody was filming and they were on the court premises because there was a change of brick colour, how would you deal with that? Would you? Um, obviously, 
as an officer, there's so much, so much legislation you don't know everything. You exactly. Appreciate like there's so much impossible to yeah. know everything. So generally, on the way, if I'm unsure about something on the initial call, myself or my colleague, if I'm driving, I say let's have a little look, read up on the legislation as much as we can, and then try and diffuse the situation as best yeah. as possible and deal with it that way. Brilliant. So, Brilliant. Yeah. That's what I wanted here, really. So. One last, two last questions. First one. <laughs> one more every time. No, no it's all right. It's because it's I'm slow up here, you see. Um, first question is, are you aware of auditors, what they do, why they do, and have you received any instructions on how to deal with them? That's th like three questions well, in one. But yeah, so the first one, I'm aware of it. I've seen it on social media. It yep. comes up. Um, I expect you to subscribe, by the way. Yeah. What was it, what was it again? The Expose channel? and educate. Expose and educate. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so that's how that's you're the first one I've come across personally. Okay. I know there has been other ones come to have a look before. Sure. Um, but yeah, for me it's the first time. Yeah. And what was the other question, sorry? Just how would you deal with it and, and, well, and so have you been instructed to, be honest, to deal with it? How you would deal with any of them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Brilliant. Find out what they're doing. Yeah. Excellent. That's quite yeah. excellent. Yeah. Whoever we go to, well we'll just do anyway. We'll always try and talk to people. Sure. Well if you watch this video there was a lady, because I had a walk around the outside, obviously not going anywhere I couldn't, okay. and she came in and I, f I felt she was a bit rude. Right. So I've had a little bit of a go at her, not right. over the top, but it's like there's a way to talk to people, especially as I was talking to the receptionist. So I don't know if she's a detective or something, they probably are, because normally they lose their personal skills, because they're dealing with, no offence to you guys, more serious stuff. Fine, yeah, um, pink scissors, <laughs> hiding, that badge. Are you aware of the general feeling of the public of that badge? I can't see it on your colleague. The thin blue line. Badge. The thin blue line. Uh, no, I guess not. Okay. I'm aware of it from like what what it means to us. Yes. From the general public. No, yeah. I so I, I'm very aware of what it means to you mm -hmm. because we've got the ambulance service with the green line, and we yeah. the fire service with the red line. Is there any others that I've missed? No. I think the coast guards wear one or anything like that? Because if they don't, they should. Yeah. Um, no, so the general the general feeling is I don't think people care, but there is a growing uh, group of people that are trying to get that taken off the uniforms because it's offensive. Because basically, you've defaced the union flag. Oh right, okay. Yeah. Um, me personally, I understand why you wear it. It doesn't offend me. Sorry if that upsets any of my viewers. But I just want to make you aware that you may come across some people that will find it offensive. Okay. Is it stitched on or Velcroed? Velcroed. So if somebody said, I'm offended by that, would you remove it? Of course I would, yeah. See, brilliant, because if you watch some of the other videos out there, some officers become very arrogant because of what it means to them. Mm -hmm. And they might well have lost a colleague in the line of duty. So I was in um, Aylesbury a few couple of months back, and the flag was at uh, half stand, is it called, when it's half not on a ship? No, it's only a mast on a ship. Oh. I think it's called half stand. I'm sure somebody will correct me. So I asked, is you know, and there was a there was a loss of somebody in service. So mm -hmm. um, because a lot of people are trying to fight this thing about having a badge for you to wear for the innocent people that get arrested that die in custody. Thankfully, not too many. I was say, what's the statistics? Statistics are quite low, but it's it's more than it should be, you know. And it's not always connected with the fact they've got health issues. Sometimes it's Mainly the Met, I've got to say, or up north. So um, anyway, <coughs> I need a drink. Thank you very, very much for your time. I really appreciate it. I wish you every success in your future. Where you that to? My car. You live local or? <laughs> Couldn't tell you that because I can't give you too much well, information. You don't have to tell them. So you know, you'll, you'll probably go in and pull me face up on the screen and go, ooh, that's him. Now, I, I don't give too much away because I don't want to edit this if I can help it and we do get trolls we get hate you know I've been threatened with violence and all sorts um, a lot of them are keyboard warriors you know they've got nothing better to do they don't like what we do which is fair enough you don't have to police officers don't always like what we do but I always say if you've got nothing to hide um, because sometimes what we video could help you because these don't always capture everything, don't they? In fact, is yours yeah. still on? Yeah, it is. Yeah. I was looking at the wrong one. I was looking at the phone. Ah, um, so, yeah, we don't give too much away. Um, and I don't tend to put myself on camera. A lot of auditors do. But then, you know, if I'm... Like I was doing a, a post office, not post office, Royal Mail, get it right, uh, in Gloucester, 
and I got some threats from that. If we see you around, we'll do you. And I thought, well, okay. Now I should pass that to the police, but I don't want to waste your time because I honestly think they're just doing that. If it ever happens, then I'll be calling you guys and I hope you look after me. But, uh, yeah. you know, um, <laughs> so I didn't show your hand. Are you happy to show my hand? Of course I Lovely. Am. Listen, stay safe, both of you. Thank you. Appreciate everything you do. Thank you. And thank you, thank you for being open and honest. That's right. Take care. Appreciate it. Enjoy the rest yeah. of the day. As I go out, I'm just going to do my outro. Of course um, you so, uh, after you, or am I, have I got to go first? No. That's fine. Lovely. And I've got to say, uh, there's some fantastic posters to help people, but. Can I just point something out? Yeah. I used to be a race relations rep in a previous life. This is great. Yeah, if you need help leaving a violent person, that is a little bit racist in my opinion. Okay. That's because that should be for every woman. There's you know? a lot of, um, there's a very, very wide range of domestic abuse charities. Of course. And, I think this, and that this one's one promoted by yeah, that one, yeah. Particularly, yeah. Um, perhaps because they, they've come across people yeah. from traveller sites. Or exactly. Yeah. Could I just make a suggestion though? Could you possibly put one up for other women as well? There should there be one up. But, but next to it? Yeah. Because yeah. if a woman came in and saw that, she might think, oh, I can't phone that because I'm not a traveller. I completely understand. Um, but other, other than that, you've got some great stuff up and a couple I've not seen before. So, yeah. So anyway, thanks, guys. I've forgotten your names. Josh and Daisy. Josh and Daisy, thanks. All right. Do you know, I've got to say, Daisy, have you seen that advert on the telly for that perfume? Daisy, Daisy, Daisy. Oh, Daisy. Drives me. <laughs> <laughs> Take care. Thanks very much indeed. Take care. Oh. I was going to say, you're not keeping me in. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Bye bye now. Well, there you go, guys. Hopefully, you'll um, appreciate that. The guys have taken some time out to talk to us. Very frankly, very open, very honest. Uh, I think they're a credit to the force. So, I'm going to head back to my motor vehicle and move on to the next location. Expose and educate. Just give us a thumbs up. And uh, you're not going to let me across, are you? Thank you. Give us a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe, all that normal stuff. Hit the bell icon and you'll get notified of future videos that we're trying to put up. I am going to pursue this can card situation. And if you know anybody that you think could use one, contact them, cancard.co.uk and uh, get their information. You do have to get some paperwork from a doctor because um, it is a serious thing, not just anybody can have it just as an excuse to to take drugs. So uh, anyway, we're back here at the car and I will sign off there and we will catch you on the next one. Take care. <laughs>